Well, this is an abomination, and I'm really sorry. I'd leave something in there for you to do, but you guys seem to be hanging out. I'm just gonna go over here and convince your husband to cheat on you. Hi, welcome back to our 100 baby challenge. This is my sim self. She's already pregnant, but we're already looking for the next father. I came here because a guy invited me out. Oh, there he is. Yeah, him. We met him for like a second earlier. Ooh, famous person? Where are we? Okay, I just got a bunch of packs while they were on sale that I'd never played before. I think we're in the Get Famous world, I'm assuming, because there's a famous person here. But I met him in the New World, so I was definitely expecting to go on a date in the New World. Um, let's flirt though, I guess. Can I order you a drink? Wait, how, how are you calling me? Bruh! No! I- Okay, I'm really- I'm really humored by this idea. So sure, you can stay with us. I don't know who we is. I don't- who's in your family? Okay, well this flirting is not going well. So far, I've told him I'm pregnant with someone else's baby, and I invited his family to stay over. Well, speaking of, I need to find out if he's single or not. Maybe we can work around that? I have aging turned off, and my goal is to use as many of the random townies or rather the pre-made townies as fathers as possible. Oh, he's family oriented? Oh, that might be a problem. So I've googled it and best I can tell we can still maybe romance him, it will just be harder? So, um, okay it's kind of distracting having like the famous people here and the paparazzi. Do we just want to go home? You're staying over, right? So like if I go home, you'll go home? Oh my gosh, you have a wife and two kids. And they're all coming over to stay with me. I haven't showed you guys my house yet. I set up the challenge before I had decided that I was going to film the challenge. So apologies for the fact that you didn't get to see my build and my first baby daddy. But, but now's a great time to show you my house and how it totally is not fit for the amount of people that are staying over. Oh no, they're here. Oh no. Oh no. And the little one's already making a mess. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, um. Oh, and you're using my easel? No, no. Okay, uh, this might have been a mistake. So I have a micro home because I want that double skill gain for Shasha to get her- Oh yeah, I didn't mention my sim self's name is Shasha. Shasha Baka. I thought that'd be fun. I want to get her cooking and painting skill up because painting is going to be how I do her income, I think. And then cooking and woodworking is just going to be good for general handiness. So I want to get that skill up with the bonus from the tiny homes while I still have a small enough family to have a tiny home. Also, my house is really cute. And I am a little devastated that this infant, toddler, is messing with it. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I could be a little less than humane and just put them all outside, except for him. And then once they're all outside, I could lock them outside. We'll, we'll give them a roof, don't worry, because roofs are free and don't contribute to the tile. Alright, let's see. So there's the mom needs a bed, the son needs a bed, and then a, it's a toddler or an infant? Are they in my, like, panel now? Nope. That's first baby daddy, by the way. Also, Vanessa came over during the welcome wagon, and I totally ignored her because I was trying to flirt these two up. And uh, now she's really mad at me for that. So I'm sorry, Vanessa. I need to know, what are you? Infant! Okay, infants go in cribs, right? This is my 100 baby challenge, not yours. Get your infant out of here. I know that you totally asked if you could come over, and I totally said yes, but I'm sorry. Um, no longer. I guess let's introduce ourselves to everybody and then we can maybe make them move. Ooh, you know what I can do? I can just add them all to a group and then go outside. Welcome, Christ- Oh, that's from staying over, isn't it? Oh my gosh! They're being mean to each other! Oh, Ryan, that's the name of my cat! Oh no, you guys gotta get out of here. Okay. Oh no, I can't put the infant in the group. Whatever, I can pick up the infant. It's fine. Then I want us to all go here together. Okay, the, the two that I actually needed to come aren't coming. Come on. This is so dumb. This is this is so pointless. I could have just not invited them over. I don't want to kick them out, though. Maybe I could just, like, lock them in. All I need to do is get my romance bar up with this man. See, they're fine. Well, this is an abomination, and I'm really sorry. I'd leave something in there for you to do, but you guys seem to be hanging out. I'm just going to go over here and convince your husband to cheat on you. Come all the way over here, please. Oh crap, I still have to go to the bathroom. I forgot that I, I forgot that she needed to pee and to eat. Okay, can you not go pee? Oh, their stupid suitcases are in the way. Go pee. And then I think I, oh no, you're not peeing yourself, are you? Then I think I have leftovers because I was cooking earlier. See, they're fine. I mean, they look really happy. I don't entirely know why because they are in a bad situation, but they're fine. Are you not gonna finish your painting? Whatever. What?
whatever. It's fine. You don't have to finish your painting. You just have to get me pregnant. Let's go. Okay, now hopefully we're far enough away that he won't remember his wife exists and she won't notice this happening. Embrace. I want to change the vibe of the conversation to flirty. Okay, we have a romance bar. That bodes well. Okay, I guess let's exchange numbers. You're living in my house right now. Ooh! First kiss. You're living in my house right now, which is like a little um, awkward, and I probably already have your number because of that, but... Oh, they're kissing! I'm not a home wrecker. You know what? It's fine. Like, you guys... It's fine. I'm not breaking them up. They can still stay together. I mean, I'm not even gonna ask you to be that involved in the kid's life, probably. Like, mm -hmm. just, just give, just give me a baby, and then, mm -hmm. and then you can be on your merry way. I feel like a terrible person. Anyway, oh, I don't want to be there? boyfriend girlfriend, but I would like to see if we can woohoo. Again, I feel yes, I feel really bad, but at the same time, I don't. Aw, first baby daddy approves of second baby daddy. How nice. Oh, they look a little less happy now. No, I mean she's still smiling. She's really pretty, by the way. Like, I feel like a terrible person. I'm so sorry. I just need your husband for a little bit. And then you guys are still staying here for some reason. Do you not have a house? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make you all go outside. Is that okay? All right, they can sleep together. That's good news. Um, I'll free I'll free everybody now. Okay, they're all outside now. I did say I'd give them a roof, so I will do that. Yeah, so this is my house, by the way, with the roof. I think it looks pretty nice. So I can't actually give them, like, a proper guest room. I'm not going to because then that would eat into my micro tier uh, space. And we don't want that. I don't want that. We can give them walls, just not a floor. All right, now the trick here is, like, if we just do that, obviously it'll make a room and add tiles. You can make a wall that's the right size and then move it. And see, it doesn't count it. Now they are technically outside, but uh, we can do some tricks to make them feel like they're not outside. Like, give them a nice little door. Um, we can even put down flooring. See, isn't that just lovely? A lovely little guest room. I'm putting way more effort into this than I need to. This is gonna be gone as soon as they're done staying over. But I like, I feel bad for making them sleep in abysmal conditions. So, how about this? Killer queen double bed. And then the kid, we'll give the kid a bunk bed that can go over this bed. How about that? Yeah, like that. Perfect. Alright, then I can come bring you guys food, so I don't really need to give you food currently, but I probably should give you a bathroom. Alright, this should be functional. I don't know why this wouldn't work other than the fact that it's an absolutely horrible contraption that I've made so that I don't have to actually house the family of the man that I'm trying to sleep with. There's not really room for those right now if I want to give them a table, which I do. I'm a gracious host. And look, I realize, at least I think I realize, I, I'm pretty sure I could send them home right now, but I don't want to. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Let's give them a table. A cheap table, but a table nonetheless. Some of this stuff I'm gonna have to buy anyway as I start to have kids. So really, really, this is preparation. This is saving money. See, let's even get a high chair for the infant because I'm gonna need a high chair for my infant. See, that's fine. And then we can just put the luggage here. I don't think they need to be able to access their luggage. Yeah, see? Cute little guest room. Perfect. And I didn't exceed my micro home. Let's cook something. Cook a grand meal? Sure, actually, let's let's cook a grand meal. You know what, maybe after this, maybe me and her can become friends. Maybe our toddlers can become friends, or infants. Gosh, it's getting so late. But I'm already at cooking level four. Wow, incredible. Okay, so then I want to bring this over here, and then I want to call to grand meal. They're all asleep. I am a gracious host. Come eat this food I've prepared. Now call to grand meal. Call to grand you're doing push-ups? I'm trying to have a nice family dinner with your family that I'm kind of destroying. Come eat! <laughs> I guess I could ask to be introduced now that I'm here. Did you introduce me? I don't think you did. Okay, I'm getting really tired, so I need I need you to introduce me to your infant before I go to bed. Please? Like, she's just crying. I want to put her in her bed or something. Okay, you know what? At the end of the day, it's not my baby, so I'm just going to come home. Are you just staring at me? I mean, I can't really blame you. But that's a little creepy. Where is she trying to go? She can't come in here. Oh, the baby's just outside! Pick her up! Pick your child up and put them to bed! Oh my gosh. I gave you a place to put them to bed. Alright, here. You can have a play mat. I'm gonna have to get one of these anyway. But they're a smaller footprint, so maybe you could put your baby there. 
I don't know. Doesn't matter. Use the bathroom. Wow, she's just uncomfortable about everything. This day started out so nice. Oh my gosh, they're staying over till Saturday? Okay, that's fine. Let's just take a shower to calm ourselves down. I need to get some of my skills up before the children come. Excuse you? Your child? You're not gonna... This is not my baby. I don't want to be in charge of this baby. But I am scared for this baby. Oh, she's getting up. I forgot she could scoot. Can you scoot back home? I still can't talk to you! Oh, that's just really sad. Okay, I'm gonna ignore you. I'm sorry. <gasps> yes, take your baby! No, don't lay your baby down! I need you to paint something. And then I'd like you to get started on woodworking something. Is that the best way to get handy a skill? I think so. I could add the new stuff from For Rent, the like uh, water heater and stuff. And when that breaks and I have to fix it, that could boost my handiness skill. But I don't really have room to put that in a way that makes sense right now. So maybe, you oh, level six, wow. So maybe when I make my house bigger, I can add that. My like long-term goal, which this might be a little much for me to talk before I've even had the first baby, but my long-term goal is to make a giant apartment complex where each kid gets their own unit. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Plus I don't have aging on. So once the kid leaves my household, they should stay a young adult forever, which is good. Cause like the thought of my children becoming older than me is very creepy. And just having tummy time with your toddler. Oh, you guys are leaving. Who's taking care of your infant while you both are gone? I am not a daycare. Am I in charge of the infant? Oh, the infant is gone. Okay, good. <laughs> it's about to be like, excuse me. How much can I sell the painting for? Nice. Milestone. Orion, did Orion get a milestone? Also, why, are you, why were you returned from daycare? Okay, I'm gonna cheat the baby's need because I literally can't interact with the baby, but I'm the only one here to do so. So I feel like a bad person. It's not my baby. I just want everyone to know that that's not my baby. <laughs> I mean, there's not really much to do except grind my skills while I'm still single. So, I mean, I'm just gonna work on cooking, painting, and woodworking, and I'll come back if anything interesting happens. There's an eco inspector here? I thought I turned off neighborhood action plans, honestly, because there's not really a lot of ways that they could interact with this challenge that I would enjoy. So why are you here? Relatedly, I know there's a baby out here crying in the rain, and I can't- I literally can't do anything about it. Can you help? I'm in compliance. I turned off the neighborhood action plans, didn't I? Yeah, I turned off- I turned off the eco-lifestyle gameplay, so I don't know why they just showed up, but okay. Creative? Yes, please. Okay, the mom's home. Chelsea is her name, right? No, Celeste. Did you pick up the baby? No, the baby's just sitting here crying. Stop going over there. Lock. I don't want you going in there. Are you gonna be stuck there? You are stuck there. Please do not pee your pants. Unlock. Oh, she did! Oh no! I'm sorry. Okay, go mop it up. Polish to perfection. Sell. And then I need you to take a shower. Oh, when did my romance bar get that high? Did they flirt when I wasn't looking? They must have. Okay, she's very inspired. And she's about to level up her painting again. Very nice. Ooh, family leave! Okay, it's coming! I really like this top, by the way. It's from the new pack, and it just totally gives me the vibes of something I'd actually wear. And honestly, this pack came with a lot of really good cast that has this really lovely purple swatch. Like, legitimately one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite color. And we got so many good clothes with it. Oh, I'm sorry, you're very embarrassed. Yeah, that was my bad. Okay, sell it and then go to bed. Orion has returned from daycare! Great, is his parents gonna take care of him? We don't know. Oh, I'm awake? Why am I awake? Go to bed. You have everything you guys need. I don't know why you're standing out here in the rain. I mean, I guess you don't have a TV. Can I, can I interact with you yet? Ask to be introduced by Chelsea. Celeste. I know names. Did it work? No, what? Maybe? <gasps> okay, okay. Come in here with Orion. Go here. See, why was that so hard for you, Celeste? Was that so hard? Where'd the baby go? You took him out? Oh no, again? Oh my gosh. I was so busy trying to save someone else's child that I didn't, oh my gosh, that I peed my pants. That's so unfortunate. Twice, I just noticed that my Sim has leg hair, which is why it's probably been prompting me to shave the leg hair. But I mean, I have leg hair. We're keeping it. I don't know, I feel like the beginning part of these challenges are so slow. There's not really much going on while we just wait for pregnancy to happen. But I think once we have a kid, it'll liven up. What do you mean your hygiene's still low? You showered. She's still embarrassed. Get some rest. I guess a benefit of being self-employed is we don't have to worry about like a schedule. That's nice. Where's the baby? Well, at least the baby's being held now. That's nice. What's wrong? 
go to the bathroom. If you pee yourself again, I, I guess it's because she's pregnant that her bladder keeps like freaking out. Can I like watch some kids media to prepare for having a kid? Is that how this works? Unfulfilled dreams? What are your wishes? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, what's your wants? You want to have a child. Well, I'm working on it. Uh, you want to scour for memes? I have to have a computer. Let's travel somewhere that has a computer. Is there anywhere in Tomorong that has a computer? Let's go to Brightchester. I know for sure that Brightchester has a computer. Wait, all the computers are being used? Well, you know what? Let's make friends with you. It's already flirty? I didn't do that. Let me spout memes. Oh my gosh, the memes. Oh, read something. Okay, I can just read something. Ooh, yes, and now you're off the computer. But first, can I, yes, discuss fears. Ooh, but while I am here, I can research to get some of my skills up. Although, they're getting up pretty high at home, so I might not need that. All right, I do think that the librarian is going to be our next potential suitor. Oh, you look mad. Who are you? This man, right? Yeah. Okay, let's make friends with him. Invite to feel baby. I guess I should let you know what you're getting into. Ooh, can we, like, make out in the library? Wait, that'd be so cute. Are you single? Oh, she has to pee again? I want you to, like, get to know this man so we can invite him over later. Are you single? I don't think you answered that question yet. Okay, you are single. Just come over here and use the bathroom. Can I use this? Oh, I can! Oh, let's paint from reference! Oh, that'd be so pretty! Come on. What?! I can't see the sea because this giant canvas is in my way? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, fine. Let's get a nice picture of the town. I was so excited. Because, like, look at that! That would have been so pretty! But no. I wonder if she can get famous from this. That'd be kind of exciting. Oh! Labor. Okay. Well, I think that means that my needs will get refilled. So that's actually kind of great. Join. Yeah, we can bring the dad. It's fine. So, um, Growing Together was one of the packs that I just bought while everything was on sale. So I have done very little infant gameplay. So this is about to be really exciting. <laughs> um, are you gonna let me check in, please? I would like to have my child. Can I just... No. Okay. I can't treat myself. Christopher, I'm a little busy right now having a child. Oh, okay. All right, we're checking in. Yay. All right, it's first baby time. Woo! Is that a heart? Could I die from this? That scared me. <laughs> Maverick. Okay. <laughs> I think the babies kind of look like old people in this game, which is fine. Just a little odd. Aww. Okay, let's go home. And we can get pregnant again. Maybe we actually could invite him on a date out and get pregnant on said date. Then I don't have to deal with his wife. <laughs> we can go to the night market! Oh, I am still in my hospital gown. Uh, let's, let's remedy that. You seem like you're in a bad mood. I mean, you're on a date with me. So that bodes well. I guess let's sit and talk together. Ooh, I like these, like, platform situation. I haven't actually been to this lot yet. It's really pretty. Is there a woohoo bush here? I don't think there is, because I don't think one came in the new pack. But we can add one. Here, let's put it here. Try for baby. Nice, nice, nice. This is honestly just like a really... Oh, and then there's these little, like, flower things around. This is so lovely. Okay, after we have baby, or after we get pregnant, we should go to the night market. Yay! Okay, let's go to the night market. Um, sure. Well, we don't have a ton of money, but we have enough to order some stuff. Let's get some chimichurri skirt skewers. Is he not coming with us? Well, I guess not. I guess it's now just our time at the night market. Why is she on her phone all the time? Is that part of being cringe? Oh, we can get a jar for marbles. And let's get a tassel. Oh, perfect. That was a lot of money. Crap. Okay, that might have been unwise. But whatever. Why did my infant go in their house? I have created a very nice place for you guys to live, but you have overstayed your welcome. How do I kick you out? Yes. I've really tried. I really gave it my effort. But you know what? They're annoying me now. So... Goodbye. All right, what do I want to keep? I need to save that. I need to save that. Like, pretty much all of the furniture, honestly, might as well be saved. For now, we need to figure out a place to put you. The couch might have to go, honestly. It's really cute, but we're starting to lose room. Yeah, and then we can still get, like, a little sofa chair. See? We can watch TV with the baby! Aw, oh, so cute. Okay. Then let's send all of you home. I do not care about any of you. I mean, they can't do anything while they're a newborn. But we could at least, like, put up, like, the baby chair. I have money. I have enough money now that I don't have to provide for them. I'm sorry I got rid of your nice bed. But look how much more floor space you have now. Let's go to bed. And I think I'm going to leave off that episode there. Um, oh no, the baby's awake now. Well, yeah, I'm going to leave that episode off there and then...
yeah, uh, I'd like to make this a continuous series. So wish me luck. Bye bye.